Okay. What's your yeah, first name? It is common that law and order sometimes get tangled up and cops end up going way off track. Today we'll go through some instances of officers who break bad, using their power for all the wrong reasons. Starting off with this first set of cops who racially profiled an innocent citizen. Go ahead, go ahead and just step out of the car. On September 6, 2022, Ms. Dunlap began her workday when things went bad for the poor woman. How you doing? I just saw you pull back over here. Any reason why you're back over here? Uh, this is my boss's phone. Okay, who's your boss? You got any ID or anything on you? A police officer arrives and calmly talks to Miss Dunlap, but what seems calm and peaceful soon turns very dramatic and intense. Well, I mean, it's all fine and dandy what you're telling me, but I mean, you know, it just kind of looks suspicious that you pulled out here in the middle of a field. Huh? Technically, you could be trespassing. Hey, I know, you know. Well, I don't know that. How do I know that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Just step out of the car. Okay. Just step out of the vehicle. Step out. A female police officer arrives on the scene and is shown pulling Miss Dunlap out of her car as she pleads for the officer to let her go. Can you step out of the vehicle for me? Excuse me. Can you step out of the vehicle for me? Ma'am, please stop. Please stop. Okay. Okay, but let go of me. Let go of me. If you if you can let go of me, I will. Okay. Please stop. 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 Please stop.
It's in the driver's seat. The fuck you rip it off me for? You got a good phone number, uh, Jelena? Is that how you pronounce it? Jelana. You got a good phone number? After checking her ID and running it through the system, they still resort to keeping Miss Dunlap in handcuffs. She said she didn't eat. I saw you throw up. Are you sure you're okay? Was it just stress that caused that? shit was unnecessary. My record is clean. I ain't never been in handcuffs. Nonetheless, a different police officer shows up and sues a distressed Miss Dunlap, seats her inside her car, and explains the steps to take in order to file charges against the female officer who mistreated her. Now that she got nervous and she's tired of this guy, right? I don't know yet. I haven't been able to look at it. Now I sent it all to Bane to see if we could find it. Uh, what all did y'all explain to her? What all did y'all say? Well, first I explained to her. That's what about she's, oh, okay. she's, she's perfectly fine. However, she does want to make, she's, she's upset. She's not upset at the situation. She's more upset, unfortunately, at Bell than anybody else. And how, how she was removed from the vehicle. All right, get your camera on there, right? Yeah, All right. don't worry about that. I've, I've talked to her. I gave her my information. Your information told her to come see me. So Tomorrow, we'll, we'll write it all down. She's fine now. She's calm. She just wants to go. So I've got her keys. I'm going to give her her keys and let her go. But she's got everything that she needs if she decides that she wants to come down and, and, and do anything else. But as far as, like, she wasn't taken to the ground or anything mm -hmm. like that. She wasn't. Uh... Okay. Jelana, let me see your hand real quick. Not with the phone in it. <laughs> Sorry. Lay it out for me. No, no, don't fist it like you won't find me. Come on. All right, hold on. Got a little bit of a shadow. Don't move. We're saying these two right here? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me take a look at you real quick. Can you stand up for me real quick? I'm just going to get a, a full frontal shot, all right? Here are your car keys. Do you need anything else from me, ma'am? I know it's, uh, it's, it's a little stressful, but you, you're sure you're good? I just realized I could have known your name if I'd have just looked down on your shoes. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to watch you go out to make sure everything's good, okay? Now, after manhandling and harassing the innocent black woman, the police officers want to help her out and are being nice to her. On October 5th, 2022, Ms. Dunlap filed a case and pressed charges against the city of Fayetteville, the chief of police, Officer Haddock, and Detective Amanda Bell, and won a hefty settlement amount. But Ms. Dunlap isn't the only woman of color who had to sue these corrupt officers. This next victim story is even more terrifying. Get out of the car. I am! You don't have to pull me up! Get out now! Get out! Stop it! Get out! You're gonna go, you're gonna get in a lot of trouble. So that's that's fine, get stand right here. In September 2019, Asali Lagervale and her two daughters were on their way to Berkeley City College when they made a quick stop at a Starbucks in Castro Valley for some coffee. Their peaceful break took an unexpected turn when two Alameda County deputies approached them, turning what was supposed to be a simple coffee stop into a bewildering and confusing ordeal. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. What are you guys doing here? Uh, waiting to go to Starbucks in a second. Why? Oh, we have, is there a problem? We can't, well, I can't so, sit here. Well, actually, let me tell you why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've been having auto break-ins in this parking lot every okay. morning around this time. Thank you very much. So I've been so I've been driving around here. Okay. okay. And I noticed that you guys aren't doing nothing but hanging out. Yeah, I just got in from and Vegas. So, Okay, well that's morning. I've been driving all night. Okay. It takes well, eight hours to get here. Well relax. That's my reason why I'm talking to you. I'm I, from here, so I'm, I'm not okay. just, this is a we're in a car from the Bay Area from Oakland. Okay. because it's got um, Nevada plates. It's not a It's not a not, Nevada I'm, car. No, I'm not Nevada. I'm okay. not I'm from Do you have your ID on you? Yeah. 
Okay, so wait a minute. Now, why are you asking for my ID? You just explained to me about the break-in. Right. The deputy, later identified as Stephen Holland, started questioning the family. His bias was clear as he assumed they were connected to recent auto thefts in the area, simply because they were a family of color. Initially, he claimed to be warning them about the break-ins, but soon began demanding their ID. Um, my ID? What's that about? What did I do? What kind of crime did I commit? What kind of crime did you commit? Yeah, I'm asking well, you. You have asked you for my ID. Yeah, you have to give me your ID. Why do I have to give you my ID? Why? I don't have to give you my ID because I haven't did anything. You you started talking about a break-in. Okay. I thank you for telling, informing me that. Right. I informed you that I'm resting because I'm about to go into Starbucks, right? Mm -hmm. I informed you I've been driving all night, right? Well, Starbucks has been open for about two hours. It's actually been open since five. I checked my um, GPS. Okay. Are you doing anything wrong? No, I'm not. So then what's the big deal? I don't have to give you my ID. I'm not doing anything uh, Yeah, wrong. you do. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, you I don't. don't? I know the law. I don't have to give you my ID. I'm not doing anything wrong. I have not did anything wrong. So I'm not doing anything wrong. So what you're doing now is leading me to believe that you might be doing something wrong. No, I'm not doing that. So don't try to trump up no charges. I, I saw like get your phone down. Start recording. Start recording right now, honey. I saw like, I saw, um, hey, I'll take, um, get on it on the phone. Get on it on the phone. Why, why, phone. why are you getting so worked Cause up? Cause I gotta have protection. Cause I don't okay. know where this is about to go. I well, gotta have protection. Well, it's not gonna go anywhere if you cooperate. Anything. So you see this thing right here? We're not doing anything. So this is my exactly. camera. Everything's being exactly. everything's being recorded. Exactly. And I'm not doing anything. That's what did you hear me tell my daughters? Start recording as well. Start yeah, that's fine. Well. They can record all day. Yeah. So why are you making this a big deal? Because I haven't done anything. You said you're a local resident. Or you're from here. I said I'm originally from here. Okay. That's what I just told you. Well, this could be a completely positive encounter. Exactly. Okay. I'm not going to give you my ID because I'm going to do that thing. Um, okay. Call Annika right now. Do you now. have a valid driver's license? Yes, I do. Yes, okay. I do. I wouldn't be in this car if I didn't. I can't rent a car without a valid driver's license. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, I don't know that if you rented this car, right? No, we didn't. Deputy Holland tried to trick Lagervale by providing false information about the opening hours of Starbucks. Nevertheless, she had already verified it on her GPS, proving that not even a deceitful police officer could outwit an attentive mother. When Mrs. Lagervale told her daughters to begin taking notes, Holland's pride grew stronger, yet his anger led to a teaching moment on fundamental rules. Realizing there was no use in disagreeing with him, Lagervale asked him to contact his boss to deal with the issue. Yeah, because I have a difficulty. Call your superior. Call your supervisor. I don't have to do that. Yes, you do have to do that. Make sure you record that because I'm going, as soon as I leave here, I'm going to 150th and I'm going to the um, sheriff's department. That's and what fine. is your name? Give me your information. I'll give you a card when we're done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, give me your, you got it? Okay, good. I'm going straight there. Straight there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. We're being harassed for nothing. We're being harassed for nothing. It's not harassment. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is harassment. Yes, it is. I have not done anything. Okay, hold on. Could you explain this to about the break-ins we told you we just got in town and you're still trying to tell us about an id for what i can hang out here till you want to give me your id i'm not i want you to call your sheriff i want you to call me or call your um superior supervisor i'm asking for a supervisor right now did you see how deputy holland promptly stepped back when his id was requested a public official must be open about who they are it is an essential responsibility this caused mrs Lagervale to contact the authorities but deputy holland intended to outsmart her i'm gonna call the police yes. No, no, we're not. We're not doing that. Okay, everyone in this car is detained. You can go back in the car and wait, or or you can go in handcuffs and go in my car. She's not going. To I said, I'm just get in the car. We're not detained. Yeah. I'm calling the police oh right now. God. on you. I'm calling the police on you. What kind of? Because you came up here and harassed me. This is why the police. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, everyone no, in this. Not, we haven't done anything. Just, on our just, just sit in the car. Hi, I just need sit to get in the a, car. Um, uh, immediately to um, the Starbucks in Castro Valley. I'm being harassed by an individual that's saying they're a sheriff. Contact wow. for no apparent by. reason. For no apparent reason. You can't even detain. I, I, yeah, I don't even know if they are or not. I'm, I was sitting in my um, vehicle. I had dozed off for a second. Was going to go into Starbucks. And Negative, all of a sudden, I get a knock on my window. And, and the individual the starts talking one. about break-ins. And I'm like, what? And then I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. I sell it. Okay, sit in the car or you're going in handcuffs. I'm not dealing with this. I'm going in handcuffs and I have to use directions. You can sit. You can sit. You, you can sit in the car. You can sit in the car. What am I doing? Last option. Last chance. Sit in the car. You're going to handcuffs. Handcuffs for what? Handcuffs for what? That was one of the things. You're being a really too assessive right about now. You're being real assessive right now. That's
that's okay. one of the reasons why we okay. stopped here too. For me to get coffee and I was telling her to get up so she'd go to the restroom. Deputy Holland successfully met all the criteria for tyranny by arresting this family for simply relaxing in a parking lot. However, Mrs. Lagervale deserves recognition for standing up for her rights as a strong woman. Her daughters have a strong understanding of their rights. I spoke with somebody and I got hung up on. Okay, here comes another uh, car. You don't have an answer. Cache Valley Boulevard. We're just nothing. We're doing nothing. So. Okay, they don't want to okay. listen to us, so let's go ahead and okay. detain these two. Okay. No, no, you're not going to detain them. No, you're not going to detain them. We haven't did anything. We haven't did anything. No, you're not placing me under arrest. Or I'm placing you under arrest. I'm calling someone. Get out of the car. I am. You don't have to pull me. I'm getting out now. Then get out. Stop it. Then get out. Stop it. You're going to go. You're going to get in a lot of trouble. So that's, I hope that's fine. Stand right here. Stand right here. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You're being detained. No, I'm not being detained for what? You're being detained. For what? Put your hand behind your back or you're going to go to jail. No, I'm not going to jail. No, we're getting the hard We're going to turn it right now. Record everything. We're going to turn it. We're going to turn it. No, we're going to turn it. We're going to turn it. We're going to turn it. The minute. The minute. We're going to the sheriff right now. We have two detained working on the turn. Walk over here. I haven't done anything. Walk over here. I haven't done anything. Face this car. I have not done anything. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't have no weapons on me. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You can't even answer me. Don't worry. We're going to go to the sheriff. Don't worry. Don't worry. Put your hands behind your back or you're going to jail. Put your hands behind your back. Put your committed. hands behind your back. You're going to get fired. You're going, You're going to, to get jail. fired. You're going to get fired. That's fine. You're going to get fired. Watch. Have we committed? Don't worry, Asala. We got a lawsuit. Don't worry. We haven't done nothing. Have we, we got a lawsuit. No, I haven't done nothing. We have a lawsuit. Wait, what's Don't worry. Why? We have a lawsuit. Have Put, a lawsuit. Your have Put your hands behind your back. What's wrong? Have we committed? Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Don't worry. That's Deputy Holland's behavior is completely unacceptable. The thought of being in your car peacefully one moment and then being apprehended the next is scary. Shortly after, additional deputies arrived to support Holland. However, they neglected to ask about the circumstances and instead proceeded to detain the family. Officer, can you, can you make some sense out of this? We haven't done anything. All right, walk with me over here. We haven't, we haven't done anything. We're detaining a third. We haven't uh, done anything. We haven't done anything. All of a sudden, we're getting arrested. Uh, um, um, wait a minute. Is this car what open? Did? Is this car open? We haven't. Excuse me. We haven't done anything. So can you get your? I asked for. I don't have stop, a weapon stop. on me. I'm just I asked checking. for his superior, his supervisor. I asked for a supervisor. Grab a seat. It's not, it's not how things work, man. No, what are you talking about? This is how we haven't did anything. Take your feet. You don't, we you don't demand what we do. No, I, I'm not demanding anything. What have we done? Notwithstanding her protests, Detective Holland persisted in frisking her, making inappropriate physical contact, and suggesting she may be carrying a weapon. I'm asking you a question. Why am I being arrested? Right now, you're being arrested because you're so not. What did I do to be arrested? What led up to this? Oh, Can you no. answer that honestly? You cannot. His initial action involved searching through her wallet while she was held up. Are our police officers now turning to minor theft? Furthermore, Deputy Holland deliberately silenced his microphone while conversing with another officer regarding the incident, indicating he was concealing information. I need to identify who you are and 
your relation to this car and to the people. So, Where, where's your driver's license at? It's in my wallet. Okay, which one's that? It's my black wallet. The black wallet? Is that in the purse that was right by your feet? It, yes, it is. Okay. Preventing a body cam from recording should be considered a criminal offense. The finger placement pointing in the opposite direction of the action and unnecessary moving during important evidence, as well as the abrupt sound interruption, are all very noticeable. It's truly shocking that the police department conducted an internal inquiry and found no issues. The person in charge of that investigation should lose their job. How can someone knowledgeable about the law ignore such obvious misconduct? Following this, Mrs. Loggervale kept true to her word and filed filed a case against Deputy Holland. The jury ruled that the officer's conduct was unlawful and that Holland and Alameda County together must pay $2.75 million to the mother and $2 million to each daughter, while Pope and the county must pay $750,000 to each daughter, according to the final order. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today we saw cops abusing their authority and power against powerless citizens of color. It requires immense courage to confront such situations and speak up against bad cops like Mrs. Loggervale did. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video and make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.